What's going on guys, it's Pete from PeteIsip.com and I am here uh, January 2nd, got a question from a good friend, okay, and um, someone that I haven't seen in a long time and kind of just in the dumps, right, finding uh, waves of depression and anxiety uh, stronger than ever, um, really kind of just feeling broken and lost and it, they ask how do you overcome the situation? What's your process of overcoming? And you know, as easy as I could say, you know, I, I would always start with a walk or start exercising. Um, for me, that's my ticket, but some people get to that point where that was a part of their life. Um, but maybe walking or just lifting, I don't know, maybe that wasn't something that helps them. The, the main way and the biggest thing is that you recognized the what you're doing, what you have is a habit. You know, we have a habit and a tendency to, or even an addiction towards the feelings of depression. Even though you want to stray away from it, we are, um, that's why we don't get out of bed. That's why we kind of just like watch uh, sorrowful things because that also gives you that same type of release um, than any other drug would, you know? Feeling down is not something that's going to change overnight it's something that you're going to have to work with and work on just like anything else and the biggest way that I overcome personally down times is I always get into my morning routine I reschedule it I rewrite it um, I made a video today about it and how like I structure my mornings and I stay consistent I stay consistent to that type of process of what I do Every morning, same time I wake up, same time I do it. And that's like the hard, that's work. You know, people say, oh, do you work out in the morning? Yeah, I work out in the morning. Working out in the morning to me is mentally getting myself up and ready to be a little bit more positive, a little bit more uh, crushing towards the day. You know, really developing my my dominant attitude in what I do. Because there's days that, you know, like it, it's terrible. Like today, you know, not today, but there are days that just you want to not do anything. You are not inspired you feel alone in the world, right? But it's those little exercises that I do in the morning, um, my routine, that helps me get my, my mind back in the right way and, and where I want it to go and where I want it to lead me. Um, so my biggest thing for you is you have to find that routine. You have to find that habit that's going to replace the habit of you just sitting down and doing nothing. Not saying you have to go kill a worker, not even saying you have to, to, to work out, but you have to do something that, that's gonna make you feel good. You know, if you like boxing, then you box. If you like throwing bad kicks, then you throw bad kicks. If you like doing gymnastics, then just do gymnastics. But make do something every day that's going to kind of replace the pattern of what you're doing. When you you know when you're getting into those funks, you know you this is where you have to be the strong one. Okay, this is where you have to to step up and you know I, I call it the. I've heard it before, it's called the countdown, like the, the blast off. I go three, two, one, and then I just stand up. Like whenever there's something I don't want to do, three, two, one. Three, two, one, there's no way out of it, right? You don't want to count three, two, one a thousand times. You just want to get out of that, that, that position of where you're catching yourself, being negative, being depressed, being anxious. Like really have to step up, you know? And it is the new year. There's no better time uh, than now to do it. And I really feel for you. I really understand what you're going through. And, you know, if you need a little bit more, comment up and let me know or message me. Let me know if you, you know, you want to see my routine. You want to see what I do. Um, and I will more than, more likely be glad to, to share it with you. Uh, there's a good book reference. Uh, I forget the name, but it's called The Miracle Morning. Um, I just shared it with a bunch of people. Uh, my team, uh, I crank. We just got all the books. It's Miracle Morning. Kind of setting them up to have their day start the same way. So, uh, let me know uh, if that helped in any way, guys. And if you ever need help, just reach out, okay? I uh, hope you guys have a great new year. Uh, I'm sad to listen to this um, video because it comes from a good friend. But I know um, you are used to being strong and you are used to uh, battling through things. But I'm glad that you stepped up and took that step to asking for help this time instead of just putting your head down and going through a wall because that's easy, you know? It's easy to take my head and bash it through that wall the entire time because then I have no feelings. Actually, bashing my head into a wall probably feels better than the feelings that go to your mind right now. So as a personal note, I would love to see you change. I believe in you 1,000%. I haven't seen you in years, but it really hits my heart to, to, to know that you're going through this stuff and going through this pain. I want you to know that I've got your back no matter what. Um, I'm gonna tear up a little bit. You're an amazing person. 
You're strong, you're powerful, you're smart as fuck. And, and you just were always a, a nice guy, you know? And I know that's inside you. I know you, you don't want to stay away from that. As tough as you are and as strong as powerful you are, you are a, a nice dude, okay? And I appreciate you reaching out, and I really hope uh, you get through and overcome this piece. All right? I'll talk to you later. This is Pete, Peace out, guys.